Para nadie es secreto que las vacas en la India son sagradas. Desde hace milenios, matar a una vaca es tan grave como matar a un Brahma, el sacerdote de la casta superior. Es venerada como símbolo de vida y jamás debe ser maltratada. La madre tierra es representada como una vaca que alimenta a todos, haya tenido crías o no. Es símbolo de la fecundidad y de la maternidad. And we also have this tradition of giving the status of a mother to cow. We call it Go Mata because she gives us milk, which provides us nourishment. Her dung fertilizes fields, agricultural fields. Her urine is also something which has medicinal values. So we call her the Go Mata. And Kamadenu, whom I said earlier, is the cow, which is the holy cow. She's also seen as a wish fulfilling bovine goddess. Therefore, we have this holiness ascribed to the sin embargo, en la actualidad muchas pululan desnutridas, sucias, raquíticas, alimentándose en los basureros de varias urbes en India sin aparente dueño. Esto sucede cuando dejan de producir leche y se convierten en una carga doméstica. For commercial reasons alone, that when they are past their stage of fertility, when they really no longer yield milk, they become a burden. And therefore, very surreptitiously, they are let out onto the streets because one, it's uh, difficult to really take care of an old cow, and God forbid you don't want a cow to die on you. Second, that the third one is that they no longer they don't yield milk, and it's a waste of fodder, and therefore, I believe, generally believe that this must be the reason that they really drive their old cows away from them. The owners are irresponsible as far as I can uh, see. Uh, they are supposed to take it to proper grazing places, uh, but the pity is, where are the proper grazing places? Mientras tanto, las vacas abandonadas se han convertido en parte del paisaje urbano en India. When we speak of cow as the mother, we must also strike a comparison between mothers that we have in our Indian homes. Mothers in our homes are ones who lead a life of sacrifice, a life of self-abnegation. But then we also must see from a feminist perspective, look at the woman as an individual and what do we see? She is the one who is most exploited. The status of women in India is pathetic today. And that is an extension of what you see in the streets of cows being abandoned, malnourished, ill-treated, exploited. Con información e imágenes de Lourdes Palais, colaboradora, Notimex.